Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're going to be doing another tutorial on web design and HTML coding and today I'm going to show you how to control, create, and manipulate paragraphs in HTML. Now we're going to be using Adobe Dreamweaver and you can use any text editor or coding um, interface that you want. I'm using Adobe Dreamweaver because I'm paying $50 for Adobe Creative Cloud, so why not take advantage of it? Besides, it's going to let me show you guys this in real time and make it very clear for those of you who are not coders and are just beginning. So let's go ahead and jump right in. You can see that I've already got a paragraph here, but we want to manipulate and control this. Now, the way that you set up a paragraph is using this P for the paragraph tag and you end it by closing with a backspace and the same paragraph tab. So that is the structure of a paragraph. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. So I just go ahead and I set up my code and I use these greater than and less than sides. I create this P and then I'm just start typing out a paragraph and there is nothing more to it than that. And then I close that paragraph. Pretty straightforward. You can see that there's a hard return there and it's breaking this up. Now, another thing you can do is you can control uh, individual like non hard returns using the break tags, which is BR. Now, you can either do this twice and it will simulate or mimic a paragraph or you can do it once just to create a single line space and either of those things is fine just depending on what you're trying to do now what i want to do with our paragraphs is i want to control what these paragraphs are ultimately going to look like so what i'll need to do is i'll need to create a style for our paragraphs i'm going to do that up here in the header using a style tag now you can do this with an external CSS file as well, but that can be complicated for someone who's new. So I'm just going to do it here in the HTML document until we get to that tutorial. So we're going to create our style tags and we're going to create one for the P and this is the code that allows us to do that. So anything that's in these brackets will control and dictate our style for paragraphs. For example, the font family, we can go ahead and we can tell it that we want the font family for these paragraphs to be Gil Sands, for example. And now that we've done that, we'll hit refresh and you can see that that's changed. So now we can control the font that our paragraph is specifically. Now something that's not in a paragraph tag, something that's only in a break tag that's not encapsulated by the paragraph tag, for example, Why can't I type today? <laughs> For example, we'll not have that style applied to it, as you can clearly see. So we've adjusted the font family. Let's go ahead and add some other attributes to this. Let's say that we want our paragraph fonts to be a specific color. Let's say we want them to be blue. We can do that. And now you'll see that all of the text that's within a paragraph will turn to blue. Let's say we want the line height of our paragraphs to be something specific. Well, let's start with the font size so that we can set up that relationship. So we want the font size to be 12 points. We'll tell it that we want it to be 12 points. And you'll see this font size change to 12 points. Let's say we want it to be 20 points. Not a problem. You'll see that got considerably bigger. Let's go ahead and make this 10 points for the sake of argument. Now, let's say we want our line height to be something specific. Let's make our line height for this paragraph, um, let's make that 20 points. And you can see what that does. That spaces it out quite a bit. Now, we can take another approach to this line height thing that I'll talk about later. We can use what's called M's. So if we type in 1.5 M's, that means that we want it to be one and a half times, which means that it's the same thing as if it was a uh, 15 point in this case, because our font size is 10. So the line space is now equivalent to uh, 15 points. If we made this 2.5, the line space will be equivalent to 25 points because it's 2.5 times, whatever this is. So that's how you would deal with that. And then you can 
adjust your line height relationships accordingly. But again, this is just an example of how we can manipulate uh, fonts and how we can manipulate the paragraph style. So let's go ahead and make this uh, 1.5 again, because that looks pretty okay. And let's make this um, 12 so that we can read it a little better. All right. So now 1.5 is equivalent to 18 because one and a half times 12 would be 18 because half of 12 points is six. So that's just a little bit of math for you. And that's a typography thing. Uh, that's not really a code or a web design thing. That's typography. So that is design. So now you understand how we manipulate and control those aspects of this. What if we don't like the fact that it just stretches across all the way over here until we have a break? Well, if we want to control the width of our paragraphs, we can. We can tell it how many pixels we want. We could have it go all the way to the end of the page, or we could tell it that we want it to go to 50% of the page by typing in 50%, and it'll do that. Or we could tell it that we want it to be 30% of the page, or the div, or whatever it's in, and it will go to 30%. But what if we have a specific width that we want it to be? What if we want it to be 500 pixels? We can type that in and it will be 500 pixels. So now you understand the basics of how we can manipulate these paragraph styles. There are other things we could do. We can manipulate the margins, we could manipulate a whole host of other things, but again, that might get a little complicated. This is the basics of the basics that you need to understand. You know how to manipulate the color, you know how to manipulate the line height, you know how to manipulate the overall width, and you know how to manipulate the font family. So now you know, and knowing is of course half the battle. <laughs> so that's how we handle this. And again, we can change this color to whatever we want. We can make it um, black and it'll be black. Um, you know, we can make it red and it will be red. So now you understand a bit of how this works. Now, we could do a lot more with this, but this puts you in a position to be in control of the basics of how your web page is going to look when it comes to the body copy. And the paragraphs are a big part of that. And now you also understand how line breaks work. Now, just something I'm gonna show you real quick is if you wanted to um, separate something, you could use what's called a horizontal rule, and that's just HR here, and that will create this horizontal rule that breaks up the page and I just showed you that just because it's a simple piece of code that I could throw in here as a bonus and it doesn't really impact anything so again now you know how to do that and I'll cover more of these things in other tutorials if you have questions about paragraph styling go ahead and leave those in the comment section and I'll try and answer your questions if you have other requests for tutorials that you'd like me to cover on HTML and web design, leave those in the comment section and I'll try and answer those with creating new tutorials that will help you guys out. If you think this will help somebody, go ahead and share it with them because sharing is caring. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, create something awesome today.